What's up everybody? So I wanted to just hop on here and do something special. After the incredible response that I had to my most recent burping contest episode, a lot of people are climbing for more burping videos. So I figured, you know, there's been a lot of people asking me a lot of different questions about, you know, my videos and my lifestyle and really overall who I am. So I figured, you know, why not go ahead and do a burping contest episode Q and A. Tonight's Burpicola is gonna be a couple different things. I'm gonna try a couple different things here to see what the results are like. I um, mean, there's just a few things that I have sitting at home and figured that I just give them a shot since I didn't have anything else. So I got uh, Ice Mountain Sparkling Water. It's uh, pomegranate lemonade. And then I have Clear American Peach Carbonated Water. So two carbonated waters and we'll go ahead and uh, give those a shot and uh, just answer some questions and uh, get some burps going. So let's crack these babies open. I'll start with the Ice Mountain Sparkling Ice Mountain Pomegranate Lemonade. So as you can see, always open it fresh on camera, except for Dave who just dove right in before the cameras are even recording. So uh, let's get some burps going. <laughs> My immediate reaction to the sparkling ice fountain is it's more of a fizzy than a, like a heavy carbonated. And so I don't know that this will be the right choice. So I'll probably go ahead and dive into the peach here uh, pretty quick, but um, I wanna go ahead and dive into a few questions. All right, so my buddy Adam Bowersox, also known as B Sox, of the 151 show. You like that? I do. Huh? Asks, this whole Bigfoot thing is an act, right? For those of you who are less familiar with my channel, I am a Bigfoot hunter, and I have been a Bigfoot hunter for over a decade. And it kind of branched off from me being a ghost hunter. And I was a ghost hunter for over a decade as well. And as we got deeper and deeper into the paranormal and the study of the paranormal, we started to um, get interested in Bigfoot lore. More specifically, my brother Seth, but then he kind of wrapped me up into it as well. Uh, more, more specifically as a skeptic, because I did not believe in Bigfoot at first. And then I started to have experiences. So to answer B Sox's question, it's an act, right? Which I know he's being sarcastic. It's not an act. It is completely legit. So my brother and I actually released a full length documentary this December, December 2019, titled Squatch Iowa. And it's a documentary that showcases Bigfoot and its presence in Iowa. And I'll put the link in the description below just to show you just how serious we are when it comes to Bigfoot. It is a two and a half hour long documentary showcasing some incredible evidence as well as interviews with people who have had firsthand experience with Bigfoot experiences here in the state of Iowa. So let's go ahead and uh, try out the peach water. <coughs> It's delicious, first of all. <coughs> all right, so I wanna jump into another question here. This is from somebody that I work with by the name of Gina. And her question is, what is your dream job or are you already doing it? What is my dream job? Well, haven't quite figured that out yet, but to be frank, uh, this is a piece of it. My YouTube journey is a piece of that. I wanna do something with, with video, behind the camera, in front of the camera, editing the video. I've been a, a filmmaker since 1999. I was just uh, a little dude when I jumped behind my parents' camera with my brother and we just started making movies. And just over a year ago, I started to document uh, my life. And the reason I did that was because I had friends and family that were really encouraging me to showcase the things of my life, the experiences, the trips, you know, just the things that I do, my personality, and put it on YouTube because they thought that it was worthwhile and that people would wanna watch. And so it's been kind of my dream over the past almost a year, because my YouTube anniversary will be January. January 25th of 2020 will be my official one year anniversary here on YouTube. And so, <coughs> mm, some nice build with the peach. <coughs> so to summarize, my dream job would be to be uh, a filmmaker of some kind, whether it's strictly YouTube to, you know, say work our way into a TV show for Bigfoot, something like that, um, but something where I can work with a camera and uh, do some editing and directing and, uh, all that kind of stuff. Or the second part of that question was, am I already doing it? I'm already working on my YouTube journey, so I'm already putting those pieces in place to chase after my passion. All right, so I'm gonna jump to YouTube now. My most recent uh, video 
and answer some questions that some people asked on that. I apologize if I mispronounce the names here. Burn Dal or Dahl commented and asked, can you burp on command or only if I drink soda? And can you explain how you burp? So I can burp on command basically whenever I want and obviously also with soda or heavy carbonation. I choose to do it with carbonation just because it's easier. It tends to be a little harder on my stomach when I'm sucking in a bunch of air and trying to burp it back out. Um, so it's just an easier process for me when I'm using soda. Then to explain how I burp, well, it's pretty self-explanatory. I drink something that has air in it and then I burp it back out. But I have a, I guess you call it a technique where I just kind of suck in the air and then I can push it out a little bit more forcefully. So uh, let's see what I can do here. <laughs> It's really hard for me to explain exactly what I'm doing, but it's like I kind of open my throat and I suck in a bunch of air into my belly and then I just burp it back out. If you listen back on that last burp, you could hear me sucking that air in and then regurgitating it. That's kind of my technique. It's kind of how I've always done it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And sometimes it's easier to burp completely on, on my own without any soda or any pop or carbonation. Um, tonight's not one of those nights and I'm not really sure why. Probably because I don't have a whole lot in my stomach. I haven't eaten much today. And so that could be why. Um, but if I start to feel the ability to do that without taking a drink. I'll start popping them off for you. All right, next question. I talk about keto a lot and they wanna know kind of what, what is keto and why do I choose to do keto? So keto is a term for uh, a shorter term for your body being in ketosis. And ketosis is the process of your body shifting its energy source from carbohydrates to fat. And so I go through a process of adjusting my body when I'm taking out carbs. So I eat really low carbohydrate content, low sugar content, and high fat content, medium protein, and then, like I said, low carb. And that transitions my body from depending on carbohydrates for energy and shifting to depending on fat for energy. So I eat bacon, I eat a lot of beef and meat, uh, a lot of cheese, and eggs, um, salads, things like that. You'll you'll notice that on these burping contest videos, I've done sugar free. And it's because with keto, sugar is a carb. And if I have too many carbs, it kicks me out of ketosis. So many of the benefits of keto are healthier brain cells, healthier memory. You can actually breathe better when you're on keto. There's just more oxygen in your blood when you're on keto. Um, also, uh, my mom had cancer. And there's another reason for me to be on it is because keto kills cancer cells. Not that I think I'm gonna get cancer, but hey, if I can take steps to eliminate that possibility, I'm gonna do that. Also, my grandmother had Alzheimer's. Keto fights Alzheimer's as well as dementia. And so if I can do what anything now to help myself in the future be healthier, that's what I'm gonna do. So I do keto on a kind of a 80-20 basis throughout the year. I break for my birthday, the Ohio State Fair, as you guys saw, and then for holidays as well. Other than that, I am pretty much strictly on keto all the time. <sighs> that had a little throw up in it. Some other questions that I've gotten, how old am I? I am uh, 32, I'll be 33 in July of 2020. I am clearly an Iowa fan. Iowa Hawkeyes, um, so I live in Iowa, I live in the Des Moines area. That's why you see a lot of content from here in Iowa. All right, let's go back to the Ice Mountain and see what we can do here. <sighs> it's a pretty flat burp so far. <sighs> Except for that one. <sighs> now I'm kind of working them up on my own. <sighs> You can hear the sound is different when it's more on my own rather than helping with the soda or the pop or the water or whatever. There you go. This is by far the most disgusting video I've ever made on my channel, but I love it. And I know you guys love it and that's why I'm doing it because I wanna make you guys content that you're loving. So you guys were asking for new, new Burt videos and I wanna make sure that I'm pushing out the content that you guys wanna see. I'll take this moment right now. If you have not subscribed to my channel, um, make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, like this video if you liked it. If you didn't, hit that thumbs down because I wanna know if you're not liking it. And uh, I know I've had some people say how disgusting I am because I'm sitting here burping on camera. Hey, that's cool. Nobody is forcing you to watch this content. And if that's not uh, your cup of tea, then by all means, hit that uh, dislike button. Let me know how you feel. <laughs> <sighs>
Also, uh, hit that notification bell so that you don't ever miss one of my new videos. As we head into 2020, you know, I'm always thinking of new content, thinking of ways that I can uh, drive out content that you guys enjoy and that's gonna keep you coming back. <laughs> I just want to let you guys know how much I appreciate your support. You know, as I'm coming up on the end of my first year here on YouTube, it's been crazy how fast it's gone. Christmas Day actually will be 11 months that I've been doing this, and then we'll celebrate one year on January 25th. Just thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Also, make sure you guys uh, leave your comments down below. Let me know, um, you know, suggestions of other questions that you want me to answer on, on another, you know, burping contest Q&A. I reply to comments. If you comment, I will reply. You have my word on that. And I love interacting with uh, the people who watch my videos. So please don't hesitate to, to leave me a comment. I, I wanna talk to you, I wanna get to know you. I wanna share some laughs in regards to burps and uh, things like that. Also, make sure you follow me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is at it's all knee, which is I-T-S underscore A-L-L-K-N-E-E at it's on me on Instagram. So make sure you follow me on, on there as well. All right, let's get another question from YouTube. Can you speak while you burp? Andre Raphael, I believe that's your name. Pardon me if I just destroyed that. But Andre Raphael asks, can you speak while you burp? Well, let's find out. It's up. It's up. It's all me, and I know. Close. My name is Jesse. I'm giving it my best. My name is It's hard to get my name out. It's hard to say Jesse with a burp. So let me see if I can get Jesse out. Jesse, Jesse. There you go, I give it my best. Can I speak when I burp? Yes and no. Some days are better than, than other days. All right, let's look for another question here. So my buddy Jacob Smithson asks, if you had the choice to eliminate all kangaroos on the face of the earth, would you do so? So basically the question is, am I pro kangaroo or am I anti kangaroo? You know, it's crazy that when you're asked questions like this, you don't realize how partial you are one way or the other, but that's what I love about my friend Jake. He makes me think, and I'm gonna give a very deep theological answer to this dilemma. Do we keep kangaroos on the earth? or do we not? Of course we do. Why would you get rid of a kangaroo? It is an animal with a built-in hoodie pouch that carries its kids. It's a no-brainer. Absolutely, you keep kangaroos. <laughs> yeah, I threw up on that one. That's the trouble with uh, with burps, is when you get to the, the bottom of your belly, you just start burping up whatever's there. And sometimes it's good and sometimes it's not. So let's go back for more. <laughs> Overall, the burps are girthy. They have some, some good reverberation, but again, the length isn't there. The Zevia is still the best. Overall, the uh, the peach water is is far better than the uh, the sparkling ice mountain. But I mean, if it's all you have, it it does the job. It just, it sounds more like a fart than, than a burp because it's real, real juicy, real juicy burp. <laughs> All right, there you have it. There was a little short Q and A for you guys with some burps. Just wanted to come swoop in and you know give the give the people what they're asking for, help you get to know me a little bit better. Again, like I said earlier, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. I answer everybody and I reply to everybody, and I really enjoy interacting with with everyone. So so don't hesitate to drop me a line down below. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and as always, remember. It is all knee and no foot, and we will see you in the next one.